Okay, welcome everybody. Very happy to be on board with uh, Sam Vaughan from Cyclops Marine. And today we're just talking through a really cool new option that we're about to offer from Seawind uh, Catamarans that we'll be partnering with our guys from Cyclops for. And uh, it's some nice technology. We're pairing it with another option that we've got called Sentinel Marine, but we've just done the installation on the on the 1370 here. We're at Le Grand Mot Show and, and we had a, a rigger come down, we've set it up, we're about to get into the, the detail and see all the, the, the numbers come through, but probably best if I have Sam just talk through what we've actually just put on the boat. Yeah, so uh, on this boat here we fitted four sensors yesterday uh, in about two hours. Um, really simple integration but what the integration does is it gives you live load monitoring of your rig, uh, running rigging and standing rigging system. So on this boat here we fitted three uh, sensors in the shrouds and in the forestay, two different types of sensors but we'll come on to those specifics in a little bit. But then also we've done a floating cell here that can be incorporated into the main sheet system, spinnaker, genica, uh, sheet options. Um, or anywhere that you want a, a running rigging load. Um, as you can see, this is a wireless device. Uh, it transmits its uh, information out via Bluetooth, and then uh, mounted in the boat, uh, in the electronics area, is a gateway, which then converts the information from Bluetooth and puts that into the uh, BNG network uh, installed on this boat. Yeah, so essentially, it's not every second, doesn't it? We yeah, so the standard, uh, standard option is that uh, data comes off every second, which for a catamaran of this type is more than uh, enough data. Uh, guys in the America's Cup can speed it right up so you get a lot more data, or you can slow it right down if you want a long, longer battery life. So all of the units have batteries built into them. Uh, some are induction charged, and some have a AA battery built in. But obviously, the more data you give out, the longer your battery, the less battery life uh, you so, get. So, what's the typical battery life? So, battery, three thousand hours on a on a inductive battery charged uh, vessel uh, unit, uh, and then about two thousand hours on a on a, a double A battery system. But our app that is free to download from the App Store can give you the battery life, so you are well ahead of the curve to know when you need to go and do a charge up, which is a simple task with a Induction pack and a battery bank that you can have run by. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go and have a look at some of the gear yeah. perhaps, but basically on this boat we've got cap shrouds and a custom made foresight pin, which is pretty cool. So we're going to get a lot of data on this. We're on hull five, which is Breeze, and the customer here, Phil, he's got a, um, a, a Triton a processor for the BNG, so we're going to get some really cool data coming through where we can data log. And we can really see what are the loads on the caps, and, and we're going to be, you know, the good thing is that we can cross reference against uh, wind speed, apparent wind speed angle, and, and really just try and understand what's happening with the rig and what are the points where we've got our recommended uh, reefing points, reefing uh, marks, and what are, we, what are the loads we're actually seeing on the cap shrouds? Because, you know, historically on, on the boats, you're, you're looking at the theoreticals. It's not very common that a, a recreational boat like this is going to have this kind of data versus the racing guys, yeah. I presume it's the commonplace. Yep, right? absolutely. Yeah. So our product kind of goes to two areas. So it goes on a performance aspect of where a boat wants to get more tension, more speed, get to that windward mark a bit quicker. But also in a catamaran environment like this, it's about safety. It's making sure that you're not overloading the rig, at night when you might not be able to see all the rig, you've got that awareness of the loads going through. A little bit like the tire pressure monitor in your car. Yeah. You know, you know when that orange red light comes on, I need to pull over, I need to act. And with the BNG system you can see that point of your live loads incorporated with where you feel your safe settings are. So if it's uh, a big weekend with the boys out on the boat and we're going to push hard, we can turn the dial up, yeah. but if it's a comfortable weekend of cruising for the family, we can reduce everything so everyone feels nice and safe. Well, I think the, the other component is just to, just, just to sort of think about the other sort of byproduct is you can also look at your rig tuning yeah. to see where you've got your static loads as well as the dynamic loads. It's really interesting for us to work out, but if you're just trying to understand, is my rig actually right? Is it balanced? Is it centered? You know, so it's a good opportunity so there. So I see. Yeah, so you can absolutely see that live loading. You can get manufacturer rig settings so you, that when the boat gets uh, commissioned, you can see where you should be. But also the sensors uh, have a really exciting piece of technology in there called fatigue monitoring. So that is constantly measuring the load through the rigging and will give you a lifespan of your rigging on our app. 
so if you've done 10,000 miles wow. of hard sailing, right. the app might say actually you need to have a bit of a think about some, uh, about re-rigging, or if you've done 50,000 miles, it's time to re-rig, or you've bought the boat, you've loved the boat, but sadly life's moved on and you've sat on the dock for a long time, you might be able to stretch the life back. So there's a little bit of uh, extra functionality. Yeah, that's great. Okay, well let's go and have a look at some of the gear. Okay, so here is the, the Cyclops cell, uh, and here is the original turn body that was the same uh, on the V1 and the D1. Uh, and all we do for an installation is you pop out your, your dumb rig screw, as we call them, and you put in the intelligent uh, smart tube. Um, all the lengths are, are the same, so there's no change of rigging required. Um, battery packs are on the side, and as I say, as soon as those batteries in, it's starting to give out that live load data over Bluetooth to go to your app or the gateway and into the b and system on the boat. Um, really simple to change the batteries, two screws either side for the two different battery points. Um, and as I say, it is just exactly the same, but with that intelligent sensing technology inside to give out, uh, give out those readings. The base settings from where the rig is installed can be easily uh, obtained, but also that live load, that when the rig is going slack or rig is going tight, you have got that point of action uh, to, to carry out something different. So here on the four state, which is a in really interesting key measurement as well, is we've got a, what we call a wireless low pin. So obviously there's not the room to put the smart tube in, but what we can do here is we can measure the load through uh, the pin uh, inserted here beneath the furler. Um, and again, the signal's coming out by Bluetooth, battery is induction charged, and it's giving all the same data that the shrouds, but just through the four state, which can give some slightly different interesting numbers depending on the style of sailing that you're doing and the angles that you're going. Um, and yeah, a really nice, simple, you know, you can hardly notice that it's any different from the standard pin that uh, we took out yesterday. Okay, so we're back at the B&G uh, Port Helm chart plotter here. And it's all connected via the, um, the network. So anything, any of the BNG units can display the, uh, the reading. So Sam, what have we got here? Okay, so yeah, uh, we've got the full state currently loaded at 3,500 kilos as starboard uh, shroud at 1182 and the port at 981. As you can see, the numbers are bouncing around as you can see what we've got 21 knots of true wind speed currently, exactly on the bow. Um, and that is giving live load. So if we were to bear the boat away, it was a bit difficult stuck to the dock here today, but you would see a change in those numbers very quickly, or almost instantly. Um, and that is the point where, as you are sailing along on your passage, you are then possibly at a point to act. Are you hitting a harder bit of sea state? Has the wind built? And that is that data being pumped out live from what's going on upstairs. So I think Every, anyone looking at that will go, well, hang on, what's going on here? So we literally put the gear in yesterday. The rig hasn't been tuned since, so we'd normally expect to see much higher readings on the cap shrouds. It's just been in a quick installation mode, and we'll, we'll be tuning the rig uh, post-show, and then we'll get it all dialed in. But these these figures would be up around sort of the two sun mark, depending on the cap shroud. But, yeah, this is all data that we're going to learn and, and really hone in on, and rather than just have, you know, a, a rigger's theoretical calculations, we'll get some really good data to, to help with how we should be rigging up the tune and tuning the rigs and, for all boats. And absolutely, it's removing the subjectivity of yeah. a rigger in Australia to a rigger in France to a rigger doing this to a rigger that turns up with yeah. some kind of gauge. Yeah. We are bringing actual raw live data, so it can be related back to the data that you give out the battery, the mast builder, the rigging supplier, and really hone in on actual real data driven numbers. Yeah, so the, the bit that I'm excited about is, that, I mean, that everything we've shown you so far is is stuff that Cyclops um, Marine does, and they've got their, their great mobile app. I was using that yesterday. You can see all the live data. You can hit record, and you can you can data log. And then you, with the gateway, you can actually have, I think you said, two gig of data. Yep. Or, yeah, a huge amount of data, right? But the bit that we're doing uh, with with Seawind is that we've got another product that ties in so nicely, which is the Sentinel Marine. Now this boat has it, so Sentinel Marine um, is a monitoring system where you've got seven days worth of data logging, and we can actually extend that uh, if we need to. But it's got, this boat has 20 inputs, so the part that's quite unique for Seaman in this offering is that we can put into the monitoring system where the data logging is that we can put true wind speed, apparent wind speed, true, uh, true wind angle, um, we can put a whole range of different, um, anything that's on the network we can put into that data log set, 
and then we've got our load cells coming in as well. So we can actually correlate some data together, which is really quite cool, I think. So we're going to learn a lot of information about how the boat's uh, handling the different conditions, how the rig's performing, and I'm pretty excited. So it'll be good to see um, you know, how this boat's performing as a, as a test base. For sure. um, and I, I think we'll, we'll learn a lot, but I think it'll also demonstrate to other people that's pretty nice sort of gear. Of, I'd like to have that as well. And it's a piece of mind piece with the central that, you know, an owner who might be in the US but his boat's in Europe and he's got to go home for a period, he can check his build alarms, his batteries, but you know, can also check that the master's still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a really nice point that no one has ever really considered yeah. up until recently. But yeah, you've got that peace of mind that the rig is still in place. When you're sailing, you're getting that safety and water, the performance, but also the longevity of keeping your rig in the boat for longer. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to doing some testing. Thank you. Thanks for the install. Thank you. So after the boat show, the local riggers tuned the rig, and then Breeze, hull number five, was all set, ready to go sailing south, and over to Phil Copeland, who's the owner, who can talk you through some of his early findings using the Cyclops rigging. Okay, hi. Um, Welcome on board Breeze. We're sailing today from the eastern end of Menorca in Spain, in the Balearic Islands, across to Sardinia, so about a 200 nautical mile trip. And uh, we just left uh, a town called Man at the, uh, at the eastern tip there. Um, this is us on breeze, and um, we've got uh, about uh, 12 knots of breeze, 12 to 13 knots of breeze. Um, pretty ideal conditions, really. We've got a dashboard set up here to show the um, the shroud loads as well as the forestay loads. So you can see on my port shroud, which is the windward shroud, about 2,600 kilos. It goes up and down a bit. The leeward shroud, the starboard one, 2100, um, but goes down to 1800, and then the forestay load as well, which has got a pin um, on it, and I'll get you a shot of that in a minute as well. They kind of move around a bit, as you'd expect, the windward shroud's taking a higher load than the uh, leeward shroud. Um, quite a bit tighter. Um, when we set this up, they've come in quite a bit tighter than uh, I had on the boat uh, previously. So even on the leeward uh, shroud, uh, there's very little movement on the shroud itself. I'll just show you what it looks like. So that's the device. The turnbuckle uh, just gets replaced and uh, that's what it looks like. Okay, here's another view of um, using a different source. This is uh, running Expedition. And um, so you can see the boat here and over on the right here, um, we've got the loads coming through in the NMEA data. So I'm able to log that and view that in Expedition, which is pretty handy. And even more importantly, one of my favorite features, or one of the main reasons I use Expedition is to log a whole stack of the sailing data. And uh, this um, captures everything from boat speed, true wind angle, how you're doing against your polars. And uh, I've got the, the load information coming through in here as well. So I can save all that as a snapshot into a database and then review it later on so we'll be able to have a more detailed uh, detailed look. So Expedition uh, is super handy for doing something like that and that's how I sort of tune up my polar files as well. <laughs> 